live from the Fox Theater Pomona in Pomona, California, about an hour outside of downtown Los Angeles. Looking forward to an explosive night of boxing here on DAZN. Tonight's main event is a WBC Super Bantamweight title eliminator between Luis Pantera Neri and Azak Crazy A. Hovanesian. But before that, Pomona native Shane Mosley Jr. will take on the veteran Mario Lozano in a 10-round super middleweight bout. Also tonight, a battle in the flyweight division between the top 10 rated Ricardo El Nino Sandoval and Nicaragua's Gerson Ortiz. But first up, it's an eight round super middleweight contest as rowdy legend Montgomery steps in on very short notice to take on Christian Olivas. Good shot there from Montgomery, just missed with a chopping right hand. Henry Ramirez in Montgomery's corner, imploring him to jab more. And it looks like Olivas got he, he actually respects the power of Montgomery because this was a round where he was come, supposed to come out blasting, and Montgomery's doing really well, so it must be something that Olivas is respecting. Montgomery, your hands are free. It's ah. also important to revisit what happened Stop. to Olivas. Take Again, you know, we reference that Olivas has been very durable throughout his career, but this is also a man who had to have facial surgery. You know, so perhaps that durability can be impacted by what happened to him against Shane Mosley Jr. You know, I... I can't speak to that, but I could speak that it's probably similar to getting knocked out for the first time. You know, you get gunshot. So whenever you have facial surgery, yeah, you don't want to get hit there again. Good body shot by Christian Olivas right there. That caught the attention of Montgomery. Come on, come on. You threw it off. Montgomery landing a 37% clip. He's thrown 30 of them. The vast majority of his work thus far, Sergio, has just been loading up that big right hand. It's a right hook, and it, that's such a rarity for a big, tall, lanky fighter with long arms to have a good right hook. Montgomery has rocked Olivas with some good right hooks. There it is again. Oh, yeah, he found a, he found a home for those hooks. He's coming around the guard and hurting Christian Olivas now. Yeah, the body language of Olivas as he's taking these right hands is, is certainly not positive. Hey, listen, both of them got power, but when you have that lanky power and you come around the guard, it's a lot more devastating. That right hand back to Olivas up. He is definitely hurt now. A Mon big opportunity for Montgomery. If Montgomery can start touching him to the body, it's going to open up the big headshots. Rowdy Montgomery on a week's notice getting a very unexpected chance. And he is capitalizing here in round four as he digs to the body. Couple right hands connect for Montgomery. Looking to put an exclamation mark. La Campana! on the best performance of his career in the biggest fight of his career, which he took on about seven days' notice. Ladies and gentlemen, here for the Fox Theater at Pomona, California. We now go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the totals. Judges Rudy Barragan and Jerry Cantu scored this bout 79-73. And Judge Dr. Lou Moret has the bout 80 to 72 to the winner by unanimous decision. Hailing from Victorville, California, Rowdy Legend Montgomery. And there's a head again. See? He's doing it on purpose. He's leading with his head. Ortiz is. Stop! Break! Box! There's something to keep an eye on. There's a legal shot. And there's the body shot I wanted to see more of. He touched both sides of the ball at Sandoval. And Ortiz comes right back, touching the body. Sandoval doubled up that left hook. He landed up top as well. Maybe the rough stuff is encouraging Sandoval to put a little extra zip on some of these shots. Good combination on the inside. Oh, good back and forth. I mean, I love the fact that Sandoval is not afraid of what's coming back, even though he is coming off a Stop. loss no, no, no. in which he got dropped in that fight. 
That's just a natural fighter mentality. You gotta love it from Sandoval. Oh, Ortiz no, just no. missed. Here we go. With just an uppercut that uppercut. might have sent Sandoval to the canvas. And he is trying to load up on that shot as Sandoval goes back downstairs. Hey, Ortiz landed a good shot to the body right there, too. I mean, Ortiz is trying to land some, some counter body shots. I'm expecting good body shots from Sandoval. It's Ortiz returning the favor. He certainly is. Good counter there from Sandoval as well. Good action here in the second round. Yes, it is. No good body shot there from Sandoval. And Ortiz crosses to the canvas. He's not getting up. My piece is out. He is not getting up. That's what Ricardo Sandoval is so good at, those body shots. He said he would find the right to the body, and he most certainly did that. A second round body shot knockout for Ricardo Sandoval. And cue up the band. <laughs> La banda, Corey. Can you do a Mexican yell? I am absolutely not doing that. No. <laughs> Very inappropriate. Stoppage coming at 246 of the second round. A vicious body shot from Ricardo Sandoval. Rosano still backing up, but standing his ground a little bit more often now. Yeah, that's what he's gonna have to do and get the respect of Mosley Jr., but something has to be coming back. You're not gonna be able to keep up with the activity and the speed of Mosley Jr., but if you can time one in between, that's how, that's how you do it with these uh, sharper fighters. Step in left hook there from Mosley Jr. connected. There was a body shot, a left hook to the body about 20 seconds ago as well. Mosley Jr. doing what he does with that lead hand, kind of offering it, threatening with it, and then letting it go like that. I like what I'm seeing with Mosley Jr. He's, he's really putting the pressure on. He's going for the knockout. Good body Ten shots right there. Out. Ten seconds. Ten Couple seconds. hard body shots from Mosley Jr. The battle coming right this back. Round. Mosley hoping for some admonishment from the official, but instead, he and Lozano just kind of talk it out amongst one another. That's, just, that's the way it should be. Either talk it out or fight it out. Good body shot from both fighters right there. Good exchange here on the ropes, but it's Mosley that has Lozano backed up. I love the punch selection by Mosley Jr. having Lozano against the ropes, but he's not giving Lozano a place to, to hide or place his head. Uppercuts, left hooks, overhand rights, everything. Punches coming from all angles from Mosey Jr. Good sneaky body shot there by Mosey Jr. And there's one from Lozano as well, and a left hook lands upstairs. Mm -hmm. Good exchange here between Mosley and Lozano. He's, he's giving Lozano a little bit of confidence. You know, whenever you're dealing with, with a fighter like this, you got to take away the confidence. I mean, he got stopped by a body shot. Why not dig down to the body? Just keep focusing down there. Remind him of the last time he got knocked out. Like that right there. See? Mosey Jr. has him against the ropes. Now he's digging away at the body. Lozano's holding on. Some of the best work of the fight for Mosley Jr. Let him go, Mario. You know, I know scoring and calling a fight simultaneously is very difficult, but generally, do you think that there are any rounds thus far that could have been given to Lozano? Yeah, I think at least one, maybe even two. Look, good. he's digging downstairs right there himself, Lozano. Remember, the Mosley Jr. took this fight on four weeks' notice, which he says really means three weeks of training. For Lozano, got about three weeks' notice, which might be less than that in terms of actual training. And that's the reason he's fighting at 168 again. It's not his natural weight division, but when you, when you get the opportunity to fight, you can't really uh, shake off that weight like you should. Hard body shot there from Mosley. Freezes Lozano in place, but he fires back with a couple right hands, and that one pushes Mosley back momentarily. And the KG veteran rolling with
with that shot, coming back with the right, with the right uh, uppercut. Tricky moves from the veteran in Lozano. Fight out of the gentleman, fight out of there. All those punches didn't land for Mosley Jr. Lozano was looking to roll and counter. And if some of these early rounds, well, middle rounds have gone to Lozano, I mean, this is a very good round for him right here. He had, he's had Mosley Jr. backing up, breathing with his mouth open. Lozano's landing clean shots, doing, doing the work. This is where the focus that I was talking about goes out the window for Mosey Jr. Good combination on the inside for Lozano and another right hand. Oh, good body shot by Mosey Jr. It was a right uppercut that back, that finally backed up Lozano. Okay. Good action to wrap this one up. Lozano's hurt to the body, Mosey Jr. knows it. But not enough time to capitalize a credit to Mario Lozano. A three-year layoff comes to Shane Mosley Jr.'s hometown, and he certainly gave him a fight here tonight. And now we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the totals. Judge Rudy Barragan scores his contest 190. Judge Zachary Young has the bout 99-91. Same score for Dr. Lou Moret. To the winner by unanimous decision, the fighting bride of Pomona, California, Shane Mosley Jr. Ovenistian's having a hard time closing the gap. Too elusive, Neri's on his feet right now. Throwing all the right punches. Ovenistian hasn't th been able to throw more than ones and twos. Good combination here for Neri. Letting his hands go. Good counter left hook from Ovenistian as things are starting to heat up. And this is the fight we expected right here. Neri finding himself on the ropes for the first Ooh. time in this fight. Two no, hard no. shots might have affected Neri. Neri's hurt. Neri's hurt. He got his clean right hand to the chin right now. He's on shaky legs. Neri trying to use the perimeter here with 20 seconds remaining in the round. And a hard shot from Neri. What a combination off the ropes from Luis Neri. As it was looking like he was in trouble. And Nova Nisian is hurt now with that. Right uppercut, it was a beautifully timed right uppercut. And there's that right hand again, two consistent, just those are stabbing body shots and you can see they're hurting Neri. Yeah, I saw a little bit of movement in the legs of Luis Neri after the last right hand to the body. One body shot, one clean body shot is worth two head shots. Is Neri starting to break down? Or is Hovanesian breaking him down? Look at those sneaky body shots right there. That's what's doing it right there. See Hovanesian leaning on Neri a little bit more on the inside. Neri said that he feels he's the physically strongest 122 pounder in the world. The Crazy A is putting that hypothesis to the test. What a body shot by Hovanesian, and what a left hand by Neri. Change. And Hovanesian's hurt, and down he goes! Just when you thought Neri was starting to erode, down goes Hovanesian. He is in serious trouble.
comes over and he's into the body. Stop. 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 You gotta love a fighter in the 11th round, in the championship rounds, not neglecting the body. Hovhannisian still not straying away from the strategy. And again, this is a minute and a half removed from being seconds away from being knocked out. Where is he finding the energy? Where do these men find the courage? That's all heart. That's something you cannot teach. This is determination. Determination by both men, and we expected this. When, we, when, when you hear a battle of attrition, and that is it! Luis Neri rallies back in an absolute classic. After all that punishment, all that heart, all that courage that Alvinician showed, I would love to have seen the referee Ray Corona This is a violent sport, and he was one punch away from getting hurt, but the fighter in me wanted to see this going, man.